Challenge Sprint series on most frequently asked coding questions. In this series, we are taking a look at a variety of questions that have been asked in interviews and written exams over the years. We are not only giving you the solution, but also providing you tips and pointers along the way to help improve your coding style. In today's video, we are going to write a program to check if a number is circular prime or not. Let's first start by understanding what a circular prime actually is. So a circular prime essentially is a prime number in which all the numbers generated by cyclically permuting its digits also end up being prime numbers. What do I mean by cyclically permuting? So if let's say you have a number 1193. So cyclic permutation means you take the first number off and add it to the end. So your next number will be 1931. Now 1931 is also a prime number. Again, you repeat the same process. Take the first digit, add it to the end. So next number is 9311. Now 9311 again is a prime number. So we continue to the next iteration. In the next iteration, we take the 9 from here, move it to the end again. So our number is 3119, which is again a prime number. Now finally, when we again repeat this step, take this 3 and cyclically rotate it, move it to the end, what we get is the original number. So all the numbers that were obtained in the process of cyclically permuting this number are also prime number. So we can say that 1193 is a circular prime. So the same functionality when we try to implement through code, what we need is three functions. The first one is very basic to check whether a given number is prime or not. Now that we have done in our previous video, so I won't take that up in this video. So once you check whether a number is prime or not, then you move on to cyclically rotating it to obtain the next number. Now once your next number is obtained, you have to again check whether that is prime or not. Again, you have to repeat this iteration till your number comes back to the original number, which is what happened here. We continued the process of cyclically rotating the number till we obtained the original number, which is 1193. So let me show you how we write the functions. So as you can see on the slide, we have written the function is circular prime that takes the number to be tested as input parameter. And we have created a dummy variable a, which is initialized to n. Now you'll understand the use of it in a little while. Inside we have created a do while loop. So this loop will run till a is not equal to n. So the first iteration, there is no check in a do while loop. So we take the number, we print a, we check if a is prime or not. Again, is prime function we have done before, so I'm not going to explain it as part of this video. So we check if a is prime or not. If a is not a prime number, we can say that n is not a circular prime. And we can just break out of the loop at this very point of time. We don't need to go through all the iterations. But if a is a prime number, then we go on to circulate a. What this function circulate will do is it will just take the first number and move it to the end of the number, giving us the second number for our next iteration. So we'll continue this till we reach again towards the same number that we started with. And if we don't break at any point in this whole process, which means we reach back to the original number, we finally print out that n is a circular prime. Now let me also show you how we have done the circulate function using strings in a very interesting way. So in this function, we have converted our number to a string using integer dot to string here. So let's say our number was 1193. I'm taking the same example that we just saw. We've converted this to string and stored it in the variable s. Now in the next step, what we are doing is we are taking the substring and at the index one. So the index of the string would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So what the substring at index 1 will give us is this. 1, 9, 3. Now, by doing s.char at 0, we'll get the 
value at the index 0 which is 1 and we are adding it towards the end which is here and storing this value in p. So this is essentially the next number for our next iteration and we are converting this string p into an integer again by using this parse int function and returning this variable a for our next iteration of the while loop. Now again in our next iteration of the while loop we'll check if this particular number is a prime or not and then call the circulate function on this number which will again convert 1931 to a string then we'll add the substring at the index 1 which is 931 and char at 0 which is 1 and give this number for our next iteration. So like this we'll circulate and in the main function that we saw before we keep checking if each number that we are getting in every iteration is a prime number or not. Finally we say that the number is a circular prime. I hope you found this video interesting and learned something new. We'll come up with many more interesting questions like this in our upcoming videos. So please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any queries or doubts related to this video or any question that you want us to take up in the series, please drop a comment below or leave us a mail at the email ID mentioned on the screen. Thank you for joining me guys. Happy coding.